Hi guys, so today we are talking Be Perfect Cosmetics, Stacey Marie NUA Carnival 2. So if you want to see a review, some swatches and a tutorial, please keep on watching. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Ashley Elizabeth and I do makeup. So today we are talking all things Be Perfect Cosmetics and their brand new collaboration with the absolute queen, Stacey Marie MUA. And it is the Carnival XL Pro Palette. I have created this eye look right here using said palette. So this video is going to consist of an introduction to the palette, some swatches and a tutorial using the palette and then a review at the end. But let's dive right in. So here she is. This is the Carnival XL Pro Palette. Now it's no secret that I absolutely adore the first Carnival palette. We are going to use, of course, none other than the Stacey Marie and Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival palette. Today I'm going to dip into the Stacey Marie Carnival palette. The Stacey Marie and Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival palette. I use it in pretty much every tutorial, especially recently. And I've actually bought two of them already as well, so... I had very, very high hopes for this palette. And I'm not going to say what I think just yet. I will save that for the end. So this is the packaging. Love the matte black and then the rainbow writing. Absolutely adore that touch. I think that is so beautiful. So I did want to do a quick little size comparison. I know Stacey did cover this on her Instagram stories, but just in case you missed it. This is the original Carnival palette. This is Carnival XL Pro. So as you can see, there is quite a size difference and they are pretty much the same price. I think I paid £40 for this one and the new one was £42. So just look at all that extra loveliness you're getting. And then we've got this leaflet about the Carnival Pro palette. So once you, it's got our gorgeous Stacey there on the front and the palette. So when you open it up, it's just some information about the palette featuring some of Stacey's work and some of the campaign shooting she did. Bigger, bolder and brighter than before with nine OG carnival shades and 31 brand new shades for you to take your creativity to the next level. I love the whole vibe this palette and this campaign gives off. This palette has been created for makeup lovers everywhere. We hope this is the start of another carnival love story and we cannot wait to share the journey with you all. This palette includes 30 stunning vibrant matte shades, 10 creamy high pigment metallic shimmers and 3 ultra, bl ultra blinding highlight body glows. So I like that that is included. Shall we dive in? Fanfare please. Du -du -du -du. This is the beautiful, beautiful palette. As soon as I saw this launched, I knew I had to get it. I was getting it anyway, regardless, but this is absolutely stunning. The array of colours are insane. Three highlighters, some of the old colours still included. But I like that touch because some of them colours, well, most of the colours from that palette were absolutely stunning. I really like that they've included them in this palette as well. One of my favourite things about this palette is it now includes a black and like a sort of off-white shade. I think this is a nice little touch. You can now use this one palette for a whole look. I like that we've now got three highlighter shades. The highlighter shades from the first palette, absolutely amazing. I use them as eyeshadows as well, as, as highlighters. So I am super excited about these. I like how it's all laid out. The way it's in a colour story, that really, really appeals to me. I really enjoy when the same sort of colours are together. So the same tones are together in a palette. I don't like when they're all mixed and matched because it just messes with my head. I can see things more clearly when it's like this and I can work out what can go with what a lot easier when colours are together like this. Let's dive straight into some swatches. So I am going a bit full on Jeffree Star with these swatches and I'm doing them on my hand because my tan is fresh and I don't want to ruin my tan. <laughs> so first I've swatched those three brand new highlighters. So we've got Fair Play, Gold Lux and Over It at the shine on them bad boys. So with the swatches, I'm just going to take it row by row. So first we have the top row. So going from left to right, we've got Keen, 
Bye bye. Wasted, reckless, mood, make waves, slow burn, and then pillow talk. Then we've got our second row. So we've got fortune, pink me, back chat, persuasion, peppermint, soft spot, splendor, and then fade is there, but it's really, really light on my skin tone. Then row number three, we've got lit, in lust, funky, makeup, wide out, cargo, basic, and inspire. Just look at those shimmers. Can we please? Then on row four, we've got shuffle foolish orchid temptation the hype showboat hall and vex again these shimmers are to die for then the final row we've got inferno valentine pep talk influence ecstasy nuke intuition and lights out so that is all of the colors in the palette i forgot to mention that all those swatches were done on bare skin, no primer underneath. I just wanted to show you the names of the colours and what they look like on the skin rather than how they perform. You'll see how they perform in the tutorial part of this video. I think it's time to move on to the tutorial and then you can find out at the end what my final thoughts on the palette are. As you can see, I have already done this eye, so I've had a little sneaky play with the colours already, but I'll save me impressions for later on in the video. So I'm just going to go ahead and start on this eye. So as usual to prime, I'm going to use my P. Louise eyeshadow base in the shade number two, Rumour. I use this on pretty much every eyeshadow look that I do. So of course I'm going to use it on this because I want to give this palette a fair test. So just using my Molly O'Brien Jim Bob brush, carving out underneath that brow and then just using that to fill in the rest of the eyelid with the base then just switch into a fluffy brush i'm just gonna blend off those edges so i'm not gonna show you the palette because you've all already seen it in the intro on the swatches and everything so i'm just gonna dive straight in and i'm gonna go in with the shade nuke which is that deep green gorgeous shade and I'm using my trusty Zoeva 227 and I'm just going to start building that up on the outer corner. So I forgot to say as well that I am taking inspo from the Queen Stacey herself today with this look. Thought what better way to celebrate the palette than to do a Stacey Marie kind of look. So I'm just building that colour up. These feel so nice. I'm literally doing one dip into the pan. There is a little bit of kickback once you dip your brush in in the pan but I don't care about that. That never bothers me. Just look at the pigment on that. Like, that is insane. And this colour is to die for. Then once I've built it up as much as I want to go for now, I'm going to take my Morphe M507 and just tickle that edge. Just to soften it up before we go in with our next shade. So the next shade I'm going to dip into is Showboat, which is that gorgeous, like, aquamarine, teal kind of colour. As soon as I opened this palette, that shade was calling my name. So on a clean 227, I'm just going to pick that up and I'm going to use that just around the edge of that nuke. Is it nuke? Nuke shade. Really focusing that on the outer corner. I'm just packing it on the eye for now and I'm not going to worry about blending just yet. Again, the pigment on that is insane. That is a joke. Definitely with this palette, a little goes a very, very long way. You don't want to be going in all guns a blazing, getting loads on your brush and then getting it on your eye because that's when you end up with patchiness. Then I'm going to switch to a clean, fluffy brush. I don't know the name of this one. It's completely come off the handle. And I'm just really lightly going to tickle that outer edge. Then at this point, I'm going to go back in with my darker shade, Nuke. But I'm actually going to mix it with a little bit of the black shade in the palette, which is called Lights Out. Just a little dab in, just to really deepen up this outer corner. And I'm just going to start bringing that up slightly higher and further in to the inner corner. I'm literally using the tiniest, tiniest smidge of black, just to give that colour a little bit more depth. Then one of the other colours that was screaming my name as soon as I opened this palette was this gorgeous, this gorgeous blue shade called Make Waves. So on another clean 
227 i'm just going to get that and just tease that onto that inner corner just to add a little pop of blue i'm just going to soften that into that other shade can't remember the names yet these eyeshadows blend like an absolute dream very very little work needed so i'm just going back and forth with a little bit of each color building it up blending it out because i want this to be like a really soft blown out kind of vibe so now i'm going to move on to the crease portion of the eye look first going to roughly stamp out because this one is quite soft i'm going to roughly stamp out the shape that i want to go for I'm then going to switch back over to my Morphe M507 and just really lightly tickle that edge just to soften it up. I'm just going back in with my darker shade just to make sure I don't lose that through my crease. Now to use some of the shimmers. These shimmers are absolutely beautiful. So I am super excited to be using some of these. Firstly, on a Zoeva 234, I'm going to go in with this gorgeous shade Peppermint. And I'm going to focus that just on this inner third portion of the eyelid. So I'm just popping that straight over that wet concealer. This is actually the palette of my dreams. I thought nothing could get better than Carnival 1 and you've done it. So I'm just really packing that over the eyelid, just that root, that inner half of the eyelid. I wanted to have a shape, but I still want it to be quite soft. So I'm sort of feathering once I get to that outer edge. Then I'm going to switch to a clean 234 and I'm going to go in with that darker shade Cargo. And just to keep that depth on the outer corner, I'm going to use that to help ease from our darker colours into our lighter colours. Even the shimmers blend so beautifully together so before i pop a lash on i'm just gonna fill in the under eye so i'm just gonna quickly prime that with the same base then how could i review this palette and do a tutorial with it without dipping into that neon green so i am going to take ecstasy just on a little pencil brush i think this is from morphe and i'm just going to pop that on the inner half of my under eye I think this is one of my favourite shades in the whole palette. Just look at that. Can we appreciate for a moment? Oh, just that. Then just to help ease the blend between the darker and the lighter colours, I'm going to go in with the Hype, which is another gorgeous rich green shade. For eyeliner, just to tie in with our theme of blues and greens, I'm going to use the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the shade Electric Empire. For lashes today, I have actually double stacked a lash today because I wanted something super thick and lovely. So I have got the Molly Cosmetics lashes in the style MCM2. And then on top, I've popped the MCM 10. Then just to finish off the eye all together, and of course I have to use it, I'm going to dip into one of those gorgeous highlighter shades. So I'm going to take the shade Fair Play, which is the lightest highlighter of the trio. And just on a Peaches and Cream PC 22, I'm just going to pop that right on my inner corner. okay so that is the eyes all finished i'm gonna move on to the face next so if you're not interested in seeing how i'd create the rest of this look then make sure you skip ahead to the end so you can see my final thoughts and verdicts on this palette stay tuned if you want to see the skin so to prime my skin today i'm going to take the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter and i've got the shade number four medium I'm not entirely sure how much you meant to use, but then I'm just going to use my Molly O'Brien B brush just to buff that in all over the skin. Oh, we are glowing! We are glowing! For foundation today, I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade 4D which is golden natural because I am tan. And I'm just taking my Peaches and Cream PC19 and I'm just going to start working that into the skin. skin. 
For concealer, I'm going to take the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer in the shade 327 Cashmere. I'm just going to pop that in all the usual spots. Then I'm just going to switch to my Real Techniques Sculpting Brush just to start buffing that into the skin. And then I always go back in with my foundation brush just to give everything a little pat over to make sure all the edges are blended together. Then just to blend in the bit of concealer closest to the under eye, I'm going to take my Molly O'Brien Shawnee brush and just lightly start teasing that concealer up towards that eyeshadow. Am I going to cream contour today? Mm, shall we? Let's, you know what? Why not? To cream contour, I'm going to take the Makeup Revolution Foundation Stick in the shade F13. And I'm just going to pop that in all the usual spots. So the cheekbones, forehead. And I think I'm going to leave the jawline today. Just because it ends up looking a little bit muddy on me. To blend that out, I'm going to take my Olivia Lane Large Fan Brush and just start buffing that into the skin. Ah, <laughs> bang the other one for good luck. I tell you what, I have been such a war zone lately. Just, I keep hating myself. I keep, things keep happening to me. Just, I think someone's got a voodoo doll against me because I just keep injuring myself more than usual. So I'm just going in with my foundation brush right under that contour just to make sure it's clean and it's not fuzzy then just to set me under eyes i'm going to use the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder and this is in the shade number one fair and i'm going to take my morphe r5 brush and just pick a little bit of that powder up and just pop that right on that under eye then just to set down my contoured areas i'm going to take the mac mineralized skin finish in the shade dark golden just on the Molly O'Brien Annabelle brush and just really lightly stipple over the top just so I don't disturb that product underneath and just basically patting it dry with the bronzer. So now it's time to highlight and of course I'm going to use the highlighters from the palette but first I need to wet this skin so I'm going to take my MAC Fix Plus and just do a light spritz all over the face. Then I'm going to dive right in with my Peaches and Cream PC17 and I'm going to go in with that shade Gold Lux and just start popping that on. Oh, oh, hello. You ready for this? I have not even put that much on. Oh my word! Look, that highlighter is something else. Can we just, for a moment, I want this all over my body. Just because it's me and I love to be super, super glowy, I'm going to switch to my Molly O'Brien Layla. And I'm going to go in with a little touch of that lighter shade in Fair Play just to really intensify this glow. So I'm going to go ahead and film me browsing off camera. So I will be right back to finish everything off. For the lips today, I'm going to first go in with the Primark Lip Pencil in the shade Toffee. Of course, we've got to do a gorgeous nude lip. And for lipstick, I'm going to take the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mannequin. So for gloss, I'm going to take the Morphe Lip Gloss in the shade Shimmy, so it's got a little bit of sparkle to it. Mm. 
Then to finish everything off and set everything in place, what else but the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, actually the Urban Decay De-Slick Setting Spray, should I say. Okay, so that is today's finished look with the brand new Stacey Marie and Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival XL Pro Palette. That is a mouthful to say. Final thoughts on the palette. Of course, I absolutely love it. This palette is insane. The colour selection is amazing. The size of the palette is amazing for the cost of what you're paying for it. It's just unreal. I absolutely adored the first Carnival palette. So I did have high hopes for this one and it's lived up to every single expectation and more. So if you haven't already, I would highly suggest going and grabbing this palette because it's just to die for. Every colour blends beautifully together. There's just, there's no fallout. It's just, I, I just, yeah, yeah, that's it. I'm done. It's amazing. So I hope you did all enjoy watching this review tutorial on the brand new palette. If you did, make sure and leave a big fat thumbs up. And let me know in the comments below if you've bought the palette, what you think of it, what are your favourite colours. That is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Take the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood. <sighs> Hollywood. Then there'll be a bumper. And then Hollywood Flawless Filter. Oh my god, why can I not get this? For one look. <laughs> Bless me. Blue shade called Mixed Wave. It. Eh.